Hey everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining in today. So today I want to make a video about laptop upgrades. So it's always nice and all to get a new laptop, a new Ultrabook, but you don't always have to go that route to get great performance. So maybe you already own a laptop that you really like and you, you, know, you just want to do some minor upgrades to make it you know, load faster, start up faster. So maybe push that power button, it takes about a minute to two minutes to start up. Or maybe you want to save some money and you can, you know, you don't mind to buy, you know, previous generation model laptop and just do some little upgrades to make it perform better. Or maybe you bought a new laptop and it takes you like a minute to like maybe two minutes or three minutes to load up uh, the computer after you push that power button. Maybe this video is for you as well. So we're going to focus on two main components. One is the memory, RAM, and the other is hard drive. So these two components will make such a world of a difference. You already feel like your computer's slow. So this video is mainly for, you know, for people who have laptops or ultrabooks and, you know, they're doing multiple applications and they start feeling slow after you open up more and more applications. Or you have multiple web browser tabs open and it starts slowing down as you have more tabs open. Or maybe, you know, switching on the computer, turning off that computer takes like a long time. Long time meaning a minute, two minutes, three minutes to, um, to switch on. So we're going to focus on these two components which will make a world of a difference and should make it so much better for your experience using a computer. So thanks for joining in today and I hope you enjoyed this video. In this video, we're going to upgrade the Lenovo L560. This laptop comes with the Intel Core i5 6th generation mobile CPU. And for most everyday use, this is more than adequate. But before we get into actually doing the upgrade, I want to talk about compatibility. Because you need to do the research, you know, it takes a couple of minutes to find out what kind of hard drive and what kind of RAM is going to be compatible with your laptop. So in this laptop, I know it comes with a spinning hard drive. Because it takes a couple of seconds to load up applications such as Chrome or Firefox, but also it takes a couple of minutes to actually boot up once you push the power button. So I bought a two and a half inch hard drive, uh, two and a half inch SSD. So this is the Samsung 860 Evo, and I know it's compatible, and it's usually a safe bet with two and a half inch SSDs that's going to fit a two and a half inch spinning hard drive. But if you know your uh, laptop is compatible with something called an M.2 SSD, you can buy something like this. So this is a lot smaller and it's more you know, common in Ultrabooks um, to get an M.2 compared to an SSD. You can see the size difference. But also there's two kinds of M.2, so I'm not trying to make this complicated, just give you awareness. So this is a uh, SATA M.2 because it has two notches. The PCIe M.2 has one notch. So kind of do your research. If you know M.2 is compatible with your laptop, also find out what kind of M.2, okay? Once you've decided what kind of hard drive you're gonna get, it's time to think about what kind of RAM. So there are two common RAMs out there in the market. So there's DDR3 and DDR4. This laptop works with DDR3 RAM. So I'm gonna buy DDR3 RAM. Um, but newer laptops work with DDR4, so you want to make sure you buy the right one. So I have a DDR, this is a DDR4 RAM, and this is a DDR3 RAM. They look very similar. They're about the size of your thumb. The difference between these two is where the notch is sitting. So they both come with one notch on the bottom, okay? So once you've decided what kind of RAM you're going to get, then you can start to um, do the upgrades.
So I have the laptop booted up and it reads the Samsung SSD so I know it's been installed correctly. So all I have left to do is create a Windows image using the Windows creation tool and have this installed onto that SSD. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.